YouTube, Digimark here with my first ever video coming at you through cyberspace. Now, see, I've been thinking about doing a video for a while now, but I have a short attention span, so I tend to get easily distracted. And I was hoping to... Anyways, I finally have my first video up and a channel created around it. So without further ado, here's a random transition! Since this is my first video, I thought we would begin this relationship like any other relationship, by getting to know each other. Me and you, you know, just getting to know each other, just a little bit. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to share a secret with you guys. You might have noticed my name is 8-Bit Hero Digimark. Well, there's a reason for that. I sort of have superpowers. I know, I know, it sounds strange, but it was due to a freak accident. I wasn't born like one of those X-Men as a mutant. You know, I'm a victim here. It was an accident how I got my powers. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how it went down. See, it all happened when I was just a kid. It was a typical Saturday, I was sitting around playing video games, and my mom brought me down a plate of broccoli for a snack. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? A plate of broccoli for a snack? Like, are you for real, mom? I mean, it's healthy and broccoli. But, I mean, I was just a kid at the time, so you better believe I ate the snack my parents made me. Anyways, as I ate the snack, what must have happened was that the super nutrients of the broccoli must have fused with the 8-bit radiation of my video game, and BAM! Digimark was born! How's that for an emergency? Really? A plate of broccoli? A little 8-bit radiation? In the movies, it's all freak horrible explosions and radioactive spider bites and even the son of a dying planet. Nope, not in the cards for me. Yeah, as you can imagine, nobody's really breaking down my door for a movie deal. Uh, apparently, the kids these days just don't want to see a superhero about video game radiation and broccoli nutrients. Yeah, Digimark, everybody loves that guy. Now, some of you out there might be saying, Aww, but Digimark... It's okay that your origin story is so lame. I mean, like, you have powers and you could be like, a superhero. Well, you're wrong. And stop saying like so much. You're better than that. Look, if you think about some of the classic video game heroes, they weren't really packing a lot of super abilities. I mean, sure, they were awesome and they got the job done. But it wasn't from really any sort of superpowers. Take for example, Mario. He's a classic 8-bit hero but he had to eat mushrooms, leaves, and stars in order to become more powerful and just, in general, be able to do more things. If you look at Link, another classic hero from The Legend of Zelda, he was all about building his inventory, collecting different swords, shields, bombs, boomerangs, you name it. He was completely reliant on his items. Mega Man's another classic example. I mean, who doesn't love the Blue Bomber? But seriously, he was a digital robot with a gun for a hand. And similarly, if you think of Samus from the Metroid series, she and herself wasn't packing a lot of powers. It was all sort of stemming from her power suit. And uh, you ended up usually spending most of the game recollecting the various parts of her armor and weaponry in order to become more powerful again. I mean, seriously, you see me rocking a power suit? Now you do. But this isn't the right kind of power suit. So yeah, what I'm getting at is the well of abilities for me to draw from was a little dry. I do have some cool abilities. Ah, uh, for instance, I could double jump, which is pretty sweet. But look, don't try and ask me how double jump works cause physics ain't too happy about it. I mean, you know, it just sort of happens. And as long as we don't talk about double jump, physics is kind of cool with it, you know? He just sort of lets it slide. Best left unspoken. Yeah. But aside from double jump, I'd have to say my favorite ability is access to an inventory screen. I mean, yeah, I know, it sounds a little weird. We never really consider an inventory screen as part of our video game hero's powers. But think about it. Our video game heroes hold way more items than they should ever be allowed to carry. And it comes in pretty handy in the real world. <laughs> Here, don't believe me? Check it out. Granola bar. Granola bar. Granola bar. Granola bar! Water bottle! 
Ah, tempted. So yeah, like I said, the inventory ability is pretty sweet. Well, YouTube, this brings us to the end of my first episode, and I'm hoping you enjoyed it, but we're just starting to scratch the surface of what really makes Digimark. I hope you click like and subscribe to continue to get to know me a little bit better, and I'll always keep you entertained with my shenanigans. This is Digimark Ending Transmission. Boom, sunglasses. Got it.